tropical storm once again. CBS 42 Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann is here to tell us what this actually means for Alabama. Thanks, sir. With a brief weakening right now to a tropical depression, as mentioned, it won't stay that way for long. It's just interacting with the Dominican Republic and Haiti right now. As it begins to move back into the open waters north of Cuba, it will likely strengthen back into a tropical storm later this week and into the start of the weekend. That's when it's going to enter the Gulf of Mexico, traveling due west of uh, the Florida coast from anywhere from Key West all the way through Tampa. Here's the impacts that could be seen here in Alabama. By Sunday night, we will be watching the storm nearing likely the Florida Panhandle, but it could be anywhere in this forecast fan from Jacksonville all the way to Mobile Bay. As it moves inland, it's expected to dump some rainfall along the coast here. For us, here's what will be important. The further east this storm moves, the drier it may be for central Alabama. The further west it moves, the rainier it could likely be for us. But those impacts for us will likely start going up later this weekend and to early next week. I'll keep rain chances at about 40% through Saturday, but the uptick in rain chances Sunday and Monday will be in part because of Tropical Storm Fred. I'll have details on that and what we can expect for the rest of the week here. That's in your Storm Team 7-Day Forecast.